Hey guys, it is Nathan here with Nonstop Awesomeness, and I am in the kitchen today because I want to show you how to make a smoothie. I've been traveling now for uh, a couple years, you know, a little bit more, and I love doing smoothies in the morning, throwing some greens in there, and I've definitely learned a lot of things about, you know, different blenders and different kitchens and all this other stuff, and so I want to pass on, there's pretty much like three things you want to keep in mind when you're making a smoothie. Number one, you want to start with the easy stuff, water-based things. Number two, you want to go for what I call the smoothie tornado. And then number three, uh, at the end is when you want to put in your leafy greens, uh, the, the more dense items, uh, frozen fruit, ice, anything like that. So we're going to go through that. I'm going to make a smoothie. Um, well, if you have a Vitamix, which is uh, like a commercial blender, something you'd see in a restaurant or a smoothie place, um, those things can just about you know, blend anything. Uh, and so there's, it's not as important that you go in those stages, but uh, it can still help with the Vitamix. But if you have a regular blender that maybe you're just used to like making, you know, mixed drinks, um, and you want it to last longer, you don't want to kill it, um, maybe you're used to it getting stuck and you have to like keep shaking it, uh, this, you know, this procedure, this uh, series of steps should help uh, eliminate any kind of frustration with the blender here. So. I'm going to take you through kind of like a very basic, simple recipe that I use a lot of the time, uh, and uh, we'll go through that. So I, I start off with a cup and a half of water, real rough, you know, I don't get super uh, specific about it, but a cup and a half water is usually pretty good. I'm going to toss in there a banana, uh, as I spill water all over the place, awesome. Uh, and now I have a small apple that I've cut up into chunks, and I'm going to put that in there. And the reason I'm putting the apple in now is because it's uh, you know very water-based uh, fruit, and if you have other water-based things like cucumber, is great to put in there. Um, even celery, you could start with you know other you know any other items that have a lot of water content. Pears, because they're going to be super easy to blend up for the most part. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put some cinnamon in now. Uh, at the end, you know, uh, after it's blended blended up everything, you could definitely put in you know. Um, any protein powder, flax, uh, ground up flaxseed, or any other spices you want, uh, that's fine. Um, oh, you know what? I wanted to include some ginger, and so I'm going to actually chop up a piece real quick, and you can put as much as you want, uh, and I'm going to use like this size, just kind of like an inch, and I'm just going to chop it up real quick, uh, nothing fancy. And I'm going to throw that all in right now, so that's in there. So what I'm going to leave. Uh, to add later is spinach, kale, and I got uh, a bag of frozen mango pieces. Uh, and real quick on the greens, um, if you buy you know leafy greens at the store or fresh herbs, bring them home and put them in some water. I mean they will thank you. They will last longer. I mean this is you know parsley and it's still nice and firm and fresh on the counter. Uh, I have uh, some kale leaves in a glass over there, and some cilantro, and it just instead of it getting all wilty, uh, it'll actually last longer. So great thing to do with your greens. So let's let's start blending. So we're gonna go. This is all, again all the water-based stuff, the easy stuff. We're gonna start with this, and we're gonna start at a low speed and just kind of move up a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the other items. So. Tornado is what you want to keep going as you keep adding more ingredients, as you add the denser stuff. And so you might need to. I'm just going to pause that for a second. You might need to, uh, you know, maybe not add all the spinach at one time or all the kale. Just drop it in slowly so that that tornado keeps going. That's really what's important. So uh, that's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to add uh, the spinach, the kale, and the mango, and just uh, here we go. So. Now we have some green smoothie goodness. I mean, look at that. Like, that is super green, super tasty. Smells just amazing. That banana is going to give it kind of a more frothiness like a smoothie that you're used to. Um, the spinach and the kale 
surprisingly are very subtle. They definitely change the color, but I don't think they affect the taste almost at all. I mean, the, the apple's gonna be strong, the mango's gonna be strong, uh, the banana's gonna be strong, the cinnamon will be strong, but the spinach kale, nothing. Um, so, uh, so yeah, and in, when in doubt, if uh, you know, things do start to get a little, uh, you know, bunched up in there, I just have like, I had a little bit of water uh, just in case I needed to pour that in and kind of help it along, but we did fine, so. There we go, nice, nice full glass of green smoothie goodness. And again, this is how I start just about every day. Now, let me taste this. That is really good. And now in the, in the morning when I make this, I usually have some music playing because I kind of like to you know, have this good vibe going when we're making some smoothie, you know, making some good food, having a good time, getting some music on, getting my vibe on. So, um, in that style, hit it! I can't doubt, better leave, I'm running with this plan. Pull me, grab me, grab us in the bucket, can't have me. I'll be the president one day, Jam will be first. Oh, you like that gossip, like you the one drinking what gossip.com. Now I got a word for your tongue, how many rolling stones you want? Yeah, I got a brand new spirit, speaking and it's done. Woke up on the side of the bed like I won. Talk like the wind in my chest to that sun. G5 in the US to Taiwan. Now who can say that? I want to play back. Mama knew I was a needle in a haystack. That is it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Happy to share more of the smoothie goodness with you. This is all just stuff I have learned, picked up as I've traveled. I did not know this. I had no idea how to do most of this stuff before I uh, started traveling. I just kind of had to figure it out as I went. And now I want to pass it along to you. So wherever you are, whatever kind of kitchen you're in, whatever kind of blender you have, you can definitely get your smoothie on, get your nutrition on, and uh, have a great day. So thanks very much for watching, and until next time.